Now to the outrage over the astronomical prices parents must pay for EpiPens, the life-saving devices for those with severe allergies. Yeah, a lot of people use them. Connecticut leaders on Capitol Hill are calling on its manufacturer to stop what they call price gouging. Fox 61's John Charlton has that story. Joining us now live, John. Audrey and Brent, if you have severe allergies and don't have an EpiPen, it could cost you your life. And these days, the cost of the lifesaver, as you said, is astronomical. Today, we went to Glastonbury EMS to see how high prices may affect emergency responses. 31 for EMS only. Every time Glastonbury EMS rolls out on a call, one of the essential meds on board effectively injects new life into victims of severe allergy attacks. So this is our medical closet. So they always have a supply of the counter medication. We have our EpiPens right up here. Although people can inject themselves. It's discharged, held in place, you'll hear it click. Emergency responders sometimes have to apply two doses. When they come back, <laughs> refills are required in ambulances because it's the law to always have at least two doses for kids. It's uh, 0.15 milligrams of epinephrine, I believe. And two doses for adults, according to EMT Chris Wurgo. The increasing price of EpiPens is going to become an increasing issue as time moves forward. Over the three years EMT Wurgo has been in Glastonbury, he says EpiPens have more than doubled in price. This is the brand name version. It goes for 250 bucks a piece. And Glastonbury EMS? has to buy them in pairs. They'll eat the cost, but EMTs worry about the purchases in the public. Perhaps his parents decide they can't afford to replace the EpiPen, so they have an expired one. You know, as the medication expires, it becomes less effective. Emergency responders worry that some parents will be forced to take a gamble. Forcing them to choose, you know, do I replace my EpiPen or do I buy groceries this month or do I make the rent this month? Parents whose kids suffer a severe allergic reaction should always call 911. And 911 can be all they have. You should never have to choose between your child being able to breathe or putting food in the child's mouth that month. Also today, Senator Richard Blumenthal called on the maker of EpiPen, MyLand, to lower its prices, which have quadrupled over recent years. He also wants an investigation of what he calls price gouging, since the company basically has a monopoly on the automatic injector. John Charlton, Fox 61 News. All right, John, thank you. Uh, police teams from across the